Hello all, as you all know, this is Manoj from Corp IT and I know it's been a long while, but today in this video, we'll see about what is UTM, how you can install UTM for free. So let's go into it. So as you all know, we have type two hypervisor. So in type two hypervisor, we have one of the famous option that is virtual box. But in the Mac system, we don't have that option. Like we have a ARM version for that, but I tried it out. It is working, but it is not working exactly. It should work. So one of my friend told me or uh, introduced me about the palace. Palace is also a great option, but it is a paid one. We have something from the VMware also. Um, uh, VMware Fusion. So VMware Fusion is also there, but that's also a paid option. So I just stumbled upon upon this UTM. So I'm just testing out this from uh, quite a while. I just spin a uh, few contain a uh, few VMs over there and I enjoyed it. So I thought why not introduce this app to you. So let's see how we can do that. So you need to visit this GitHub page. Like they also have an official website. You can just go over there and from there you can download it. But I like this way or you can also visit this website. This one. So from there you can just uh, if you click over there, so it will go to the app store and it will charge you some money. But if you can uh, click over there, like download from the GitHub, so it will be a free. So you can do that. So once you have downloaded, so it will download in the DMG format. So we'll just click it up. And in the Mac, the process is very simple. Just drag that. And we have the app install. We search for the UTM. And here we go. It's loading up. Let's wait for it to come up. Okay. So this is, and this is a one of the VM that I previously created. So it took the same data because for the, for this video purpose, I just uninstall it, but I uh, didn't delete the data. So that's the reason that VM is still there. So let's try to create one new VM. Okay. Just click on the virtualize. We are going with the Linux option. Um, need not to select anything for the boot ISO path. I have the Rocky Arch version R64. So I'm just selecting over there. Now just continue. You can let go with the four gigs of RAM. Let it be 20. Okay. Because I have a space constant. <laughs> so yeah, this look fine. And using this way, let's just name it like Rocky. Okay, and let's go. So in this way, you can create your VM. Let's just run it up so that I can quickly show you how exactly it will look. So yeah, you can see this is a quick video and here now the installation will begin. Uh, so let's just jump into the this box as like I was already running over that it got into the suspended state. Let me just stop and start it again so that that VM will be spun. Meanwhile, the another VM is also running where we added the boot drive. Okay, let's go with the default option. And this is the default installation page of Rocky. So using that, you can just install it up. So let me just log in over here. And let me do a new fetch. Yeah, so here's a VM and like this, you can create VMs over the UTM. If you want to tweak something or just want to grab something quickly on the Linux, you can use the hypervisor. It's a pretty good one. The only issue that I found it with the CentOS, I tried with a different version of CentOS, but I'm not sure uh, due to some architecture issue or something. In my system, CentOS is not working. I'm not sure about your your system and your uh, your configuration, but I also went through some thread. So there also it is mentioned that uh, due to some issue or something, CentOS is not working with the UTM. I tried with a different version, but encountered the same issue. Then I switched to the Rocky. Linux and it is working pretty fine. So yeah, that's all about it. And the upcoming video will talk more about it and let's see how it goes. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Bye bye. See you in the next one.